With just a little bit of hope, we have signs of relief. Well, we had signs of relief, but then it went away, but I really, really think it's gonna come back very, very soon. So I compared October 1st through October 30th, 2023 to October 1st to October 30th, 2024, which is today. In 23, we had 136 homes close. In 24, we had 157. So we actually closed on more homes, even though this year has been way down for so many. But why the sudden success in October? Well, if y'all remember back in September, we had a little bit of a rate drop. They went from around 7% all the way down to 6%. I had a client close today. I think they had 5.675, which is an amazing rate. And let me tell you, they are so blessed to get that rate because it was like a week later, they started going back up. But with all that being said, those who took advantage of that rate closed in October. So therefore, this year, we had better rates and look what happened. We had more closings than we did last year. And I want you to look up there on that chart. So days on market, the far right column. The third one down is the average. In 23, the average days on market was 55 days. This year was 107. Do you know what that means? There was more inventory and you could actually negotiate a little bit. So not only could you negotiate a little bit, you also got a better rate. And did you know that right now we've gone from about 3,000 homes on the market to about 4,000 homes on the market? That means there's more inventory. But if you thought home prices would drop, well, that didn't happen because the average home price in 23 was 450 and today it's 505, at least as for the month of October. Moral of the story, a slight rate drop does so much for our housing market. And I truly believe really soon we're gonna see some rates drop again. We're not gonna see it right away, but maybe at the first of the year, maybe even December, but I'm thinking maybe after the first, we're gonna to start to see rates trickle back down. And I know for certain, based on these stats right here, we had one month of rates that were around 6% and we sold more homes than we did last year. I look for that to happen all next year. I have a feeling rates will be lower all of 2025 and we're gonna sell way more homes in 2025 than we did in 2024. So things are definitely gonna trend up.